Hey dolls! So today I have another hair tutorial. I'm going for this style right here. This is one of my most used styles minus the hair scarf. I just wanted to add the hair scarf just because I haven't worn one in a while and I was just feeling in the mood to wear a scarf. And so this is the look. It's just super big, fluffy, curly. It does take some time so you need to have the patience but we're going to go through our typical dry sets. I also wanted to include an outfit so today it's just very very retro. So this is the hairstyle. I hope you all enjoy it and let's get started. So first to get started my hair is about a day old so it's not clean hair and I'm going to take my style sexy hair. This is the 450 headset and this is just going to be a heat protector and kind of like a setting spray. So I'm spraying that all over and then I'm using my Amika paddle brush to brush my hair out and kind of smooth out all those tangles. And then I'm going to start by parting it from the back in a horizontal line. And then section by section, I'm going to spray that 450 headset and just comb it through. Then I'm taking my 3 quarter inch curling iron. This one I bought at Sally's Beauty maybe about 4 years ago. And I'm taking 1 to 2 inch sections. And I'm using that curling iron to curl my hair. Um, I wanted to use a smaller curling iron just so the curls are a lot more tight. I hold it for a few seconds and then I'm going to pin it and let it cool off. So I'm pretty much going to do that all the way across. So once we finish that section, I immediately go to the side. I part the sides first and it's just a habit I do. I mean, you could go straight across all the way up, but I like to start with the back then switch to the sides and then go to the back again. I don't know, I feel like it's just easier for me to section my hair that way. And like I mentioned, I just go to the back again and start working my way all the way up. And we're going to curl all the way till we get to about our crown. So once that's complete, I saved this top section right here and this is actually going to be my bangs. And I curl my bangs in the direction that they lay. So I always make my wave go to the left. So I'm curling to the left. And you should have something like this, nice and tight. So now I'm taking my big sexy hair spray and play hairspray. This one's really good because it has a super strong hold and this is absolutely what we're going to need for this look. So once everything's cooled down, I keep my curls on for about 45 minutes while I'm doing my makeup and then I take all the pins out. So now I'm just running my fingers through breaking up the curls. And then I'm taking my Sexy Hair Frizz Eliminator and we're just going to spray about three or four pumps. This is going to give your hair a nice shine and it's going to eliminate all the frizzies that you're going to get when you're brushing your hair out. So now I'm taking my paddle brush again and I'm just brushing through those curls. You're not going to mess up your curls or anything so don't worry about that but I'm brushing through just to smooth the sections out. Then I'm taking my crown section and I'm just teasing it a little bit. And the reason I do this is just so the back blends in with each other. So you don't have these awkward vertical parts on the, in the back. And then I'm combing right through again. 
Now I'm taking these duckbill clips that you can find at Sally's Beauty and I'm going to place them all across before um, my before the the duckbill clips hit the curls. And this is just so when we're brushing out, we can just fluff those curls out. So now I'm taking my paddle brush again and I'm just brushing through this. You want to use a, a paddle brush style. You don't want to use a comb or anything like that because I feel like it just makes it look too messy or it blends your curls in too much. Since we want our curls to be nice and fluffy, I'm just, just running that brush through there. And this is a lot easier for me, especially since I have layers. But if you don't have layers, try to brush as best as you can and then you'll just have to pin them along the way. So you'll kind of have to create your curls. And see, I really didn't have to do too much brushing, but a lot of this look is just kind of trying to mold it, just like all with, just like all the other pin curl looks that I have. So now I'm spraying that hairspray once I get the curls the way I like them. And see how I have those flyaways down at the bottom? Don't worry about it because once I spray the hairspray, I just use my hands to hold it up. And look, that hairspray is so strong that it just keeps everything together. So all those loose ones that were hanging out end up sticking to all the other curls, which is perfect. So I just do that same process until all the curls are together. If you have some messy ones that don't want to stay, just pin them with a bobby pin. So now I'm going to work on my bangs and I'm using this teasing comb that I found at Sally's Beauty Supply. And I'm just going to really tease these bangs. So now when we got that, you want to use some hairspray, spray that front part right there and you're going to smooth it out. Right here I'm just using a round brush but you really want to use a soft bristle brush uh, mine I could not find so I had to resort to a substitution. <laughs> now I'm taking this duckbill clip and placing it right at my bangs and what this is going to do is hold that volume in the bang. If you don't want it this high, you don't have to make it this high. As the video goes along you'll see that it I make the volume a lot less. So now I'm just brushing out the curls, trying to make it look smooth. I have that part right there and then I'm going to work on the rest of my bangs and just work on combing it out and fixing it and molding it. A lot of this is just your hands and your brush. It, it may take you a while. This took me about half an hour to create. So then I take that duckbill clip out and that indentation that it creates, all you have to do is just brush right through it and it'll take that away. Then I'm taking the rest of the duckbill clips out and I'm just, again, combing right through that just so I don't have any indentations. Next, I'm taking my hair scarf. This is a vintage nylon scarf. You can find it on eBay or Etsy. And I'm folding it into a triangle and then folding it twice again. And I'm just brushing my hair behind my ear. And then I'm going to place the scarf around my neck. And I'm going to make one side longer than the other. The longer side is the side that's going to carry all the way over to the opposite side. And I want to make sure to get a little bit of my bangs out. And just start tying that scarf. You don't want to tie it too tight because you don't want it to mess up your bang. And here we are. Here is the back view. And now for the outfit, I got this gorgeous black and white polka dotted dress. And this is from Unique Vintage. It's the Dolores dress. I paired it with a creoline at the bottom just to give it a lot more volume. And this dress has a lot of stretch, so it's, it's extremely comfortable. And I paired it with these red heels that I have. And of course, I forgot to take the price tag off the heels. But anyways, I also added a belt to this. And the dress is knee length, so which makes it perfect for these heels. I got some high platform heels. These are the Claremont heels from Tony Bianco. They have a cute little bow detail in the front. And uh, they were actually, I believe, $30 on the Tony Bianco website. So as you can see, the dress has a cute button detail. It's a half sleeve and it's a V neckline. I also paired it with this belt just to give me more of a silhouette. And it does have a zipper in the back so you can create 
huge hairstyles and not have to struggle about getting into the dress. Well, I've gotten so many requests on this hairstyle, especially since it just looks like big hair and a lot of us love big hair, especially me. Um, like I said, it is a bit complicated. It's a lot of just brushing and molding. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and the outfit as well, and I'll see you again soon. Bye, babes.